Okay, this is a redo of my orbs. There's a few newer ones on here that I didn't put on the last orb uh, video, but this is a redo of that first orb video because I put it in collage format so it would be better and easier to see. And I don't think that last video was high definition. Can't remember. I don't know if I did it with my iPad. I think I did it with that dumb camera, that cheap camera. But anyway, um, I still have to find more pictures and a few more SD cards. But this is basically a redo of that first orb video. But the last screen, screen number five, has um, some of the newer orbs on it or that I didn't put on that first video. But I still have a lot more better ones. I have to go find them on a few more SD cards that I have to go through and then I'll have another orb video but this is basically just a redo of that first video like in collage format okay so screen number one uh, let's see here screen number one Okay, there we go. Let's see, I think you can see it okay. Yeah, so that's little blue. Little blue and little blue and little blue. He always shows up in my mirrors for me. That's all little blue. I named him little blue. And that's just the ET, you know, shooting up, kind of like a boomerang. And that's an ET shooting up like six feet long uh, on the ceiling. I mean, up to the ceiling in midair. There's a ceiling fan right there, you know, in my living room. This orb shooting up is like six feet long. It's several inches wide. Okay, well here's my ruler. Uh, it was about five inches wide. This orb right here. This ET shooting up. And this ET I named Aqua Girl. And she shows up in my mirrors and morphs into a UFO. Uh, that was in England. I have some better ones on the next screen. But yeah, I named her uh, Aqua. But it's actually several ETs coming together and morphing into the UFO. But one time, um, I saw an ET through the UFO, and I could tell it was very female. So I just named her Aqua Girl. Okay, and that's Julio, my little gray bean that showed up behind the couch. That's the couch right there, the futon couch with the futon cover. And that's his face and his eyes right there. And um, kind of looks like he has an ear right there, but that's just another ET orb stuck to the side of his head. And this is the same picture, except it was developed by a different, uh, it, was de it was developed by, uh, what's that place called? Uh, CVS at another time. They were developed by Walgreens, but that's the same one. But this one looks better. This one's more authentic looking. This one looks weird and yellow looking. And in and, 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 uh, real life, he looks very, very white or off-white. Yeah, I saw him in his true form one morning. Yeah, and he was freaky looking. His eyes came all the way down. So just imagine his eyes coming all the way down like that. And he was like white looking like this. Or off-white looking. But yeah, and that's little blue right there. See, he looks different depending on how he manifests in the mirror. But, and that's an awesome, outside the ETs give me artwork at nighttime if I go out there and sit. And, um, yeah, so that was the ET, or several maybe, morphing into some plaid looking bird. That one is freaking cool, man. That one right there. It was at dark time. Um, they give me artwork uh, at nighttime if I go outside and sit. Yeah, that's why it's all black looking in the background because it's nighttime when I get those um, images. And, uh, and these are just some of the little orbs that show up in my house. You can see their little eyes. See, like, that's a different being than this one because the eyes are different. But lots of times, 
It's the same bean that shows up for me, orb style. And I'll show you that on the next screen, on the fifth screen. Okay, so, um, okay, yeah, so his name's Julio. I named him Julio. And then this is all little blue. It's the same bean, but he looks different sometimes the way he manifests. And his face really isn't flat. His face is not flat. It protrudes out just like our face does. Okay, so that's collage number one. Oh, yeah, here's the... Uh, the spider um, E.T. I don't know if they did this by technology or if it's like an E.T. spider orb. That one right there, that one's pretty cool. Okay, screen number two. Uh, let's see here. Two, where's number two? Okay, there's screen number two. And, um... Uh, this is just my snowman that I built a couple years ago when, when we got a little bit of snow. This is just, this isn't an orb, it's just a physical snowman. And I named him Snowy J-Man after Julio. Because Julio starts with a J, so I named him Snowy J-Man. But he died because he melted. But this is Little Blue, and this is exactly an altered image from the mirror. And then I took off all that whitish flash stuff and uh, put a hat on him. And, um, and then, uh, yeah, and then I just covered up the flash. And that's him right there. That's the exact same picture, that one and that one. You can see his little nose, but you can't really see a mouth. And that's also him. I hope you can see this. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can't tell. Okay, so um, that's also Little Blue. See, he looks a little bit different there. And that's Little Blue, but see how he looks different? Depending on how he manifests in the mirror. See, that's different, and that looks a little different than this one. But it's still the same Little Blue. Still the same E.T. Here's just a really bright orb that showed up at my parents' house when I snapped the picture. And these I get all the time in my house. These are kind of more boring, but if I talk to them a few seconds later, I'll snap the pictures and they'll show up and communicate to me, orb style, just to say hi. They don't tell me much else other than just hi. But, um, yeah, and this, this is cool, man. I don't know if this is like a true spider type of E.T. Or if it's just their little laser lights or something that they're using their laser technology I don't know but I guess this could be a true spider ET it's an ET but it's like a spider because there are some spiders not spiders but some ETs that look like insects so that could be an insect ET that looks like a spider And then, okay, number three, let's see. Uh, where's number three? Wait, okay, what the heck? Did I already... Okay, no, that's number two. Okay, number three. Okay, here's number three. And these are all different snaps of the picture. These are different... It's the same ETs, but it's different snaps... It's different pictures. Every time I snapped a picture, they kept following us around at this restaurant, at a Mexican restaurant. And, yeah, they all showed up similar. See, they showed up in front of my mom, in front of me, in front of Lindsay. That's Lindsay. And then I took a picture uh, of the ceiling or whatever, or in front of the door, and it showed up right there. And it showed up in front of my mom's face and my face and Lindsay's face. And, uh, yeah, and then I took a picture of the ceiling fan and the little E.T. showed up. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, this, this I got uh, even before, I think that was even before I even, I can't remember, but this was before I, I started consistently uh, 
or before I realized I could get all these orbs by going outside and stuff, sitting out there. This was not long after my awakening that I knew the aliens were in my house. But this one kind of got attached to the doorknob. And you can see it's little, if you look closely, you can see it's little nose and his little eyes in there. Looks like one of those beans that they call a, a neonate bean. And actually, this is part of the same picture. There's a little orb that was over here, too. It's part of, at the restaurant. This is the wall. And then that's my face right there. And that's little Julio again. I put Julio in there. And you can clearly see it looks like he has an ear, but it's not an ear. It's another orb that's stuck to his face. But yeah, so these are pretty cool. Okay, so uh, number, okay, that was number three, so number four. Oh, okay, where's number four? Oh, crap, that's not number four. Uh, wait a minute. Du, 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 du. Okay, this is number four. Yeah, lots of times they, um, in my house, the orb, or the ETs, they'll, like, shoot across. And so that's why they show up, like, long like that, because they're shooting. You know, they're moving fast. They're vibrating fast and moving fast. And that's the little, that's little aqua girl that shows up in my mirrors and morphs into a UFO. To an aqua UFO. I have many more of these, too. I could put those on the next video. And um, this is a little serpent E.T. It was right there by my mouth one morning because, I don't know, it's like I felt some entity lurking around my mouth or something. That's why I took a picture. And I got this little E.T. serpent orb. And then this is little blue spinning real fast. That's what he looks like when he's spinning real fast, trying to come down to our vibrations to look like that. See, and you can clearly tell he's starting to show a protruding face. And uh, I have some better ones of him, too, but I have to go find them. That will be on the next video. And then this I got just recently, a few months ago. I think they were trying to morph into a turtle, but I don't know. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. This was outside at dark time. And if you look closely, you can see the little black eyes in there. They kind of look like... Half bear, half groundhog, half sill. You can see, see all these little legs right here? They have an E.T. inside of them. The little dark spot, you can look closely and see their little black eyes. But that's little Julio again. And this I just caught at, um, looks like Mickey Mouse. I caught this orb at this old building that we were touring. And, um... And I do have a similar, I have similar orbs in my house that showed up like uh, Mickey Mouse, like that too. But I, that will be in my next video. And then, uh, this is all. I kept snapping different pictures one afternoon. And I kept getting these long mamba orbs. These are all different snaps of the camera. I have more than just three, but I just put three here. Yeah, so this is like E.T. swimming through my house like a mamba, like this thing, pff, probably, I don't know, it probably would have been 200 feet long. I just kept snapping and snapping and snapping and kept getting this wavy orbs moving through my house. And uh, these orbs, that's the chair right there. Those orbs were about seven inches wide swimming through my house. And no telling how long it was because I just kept snapping and kept getting these wavy you know, parts of the orb. Um, let's see. And like I say, that's just a little E.T. kind of shooting up in my house. And look, if you look at the end of it, you can see the little black eyes. Yeah, and I have many more pictures of little Aqua Girl, too, morphing into a UFO in my mirrors. Okay, so that's screen number four. And I have all these, uh, a lot of these same pictures in the other video, that first video I did, but this time I just did it collage format, 
because I think it's better that way. And then the five, number five is this one. And these are a bunch of new ones. I get these orbs all the time, which these are a little more boring, but um, yeah, I have a lot more um, little cool images that they morphed into outside on my SD cards, but I'll have to go find them, and that will be on my next um, orb video. But and here's a few more additional pictures of little blue in my mirrors. Um, yeah, so those are pretty cool, and that's a little blue, and that's a little blue. And these are just all around my house. Like, if I start talking to them, they'll show up like this. And a lot of them are the exact, they're different pictures and different, uh, you know, snaps of the camera. They're different pictures, but it's the same E.T. inside. It's the exact same E.T. Like, that one. Uh, looks like that, like this one looks similar to that one. And that's a different picture. It's a different picture, but the same E.T., and that one looks similar, that's different than that one. And that looks like the same E.T. And even that one looks like the same E.T. That kind of, it was, it stuck to the wall and part of that mirror right there. And that even, you can tell by their eyes inside, it looks, it's the same E.T. That one looks like it could be different. And that one looks like a little different E.T. But like that one looks similar to that one. Exact same eyes and everything. And then, yeah, and then these are just ones that are kind of like just sprawled out, a little bright E.T., but you can't really see the eyes inside. I got, that was up above my bed when I took a picture on my wall. But that one's real cute. You can see his nose starting to protrude out and and his eyes right there. But I have a better picture of him, his whole entire face. But that's still not how he really looks. But I'll find that and I'll put that on the next video. Because I saw when he was shooting off the mirror, you know, I could see his full protruding face. And see, if you look closely, you can see the eyes in there. See, that's just one ET, but it's just kind of moving fast. And see, the eyes looks exactly the same as some of these other orbs. It's the same ET. Or the same ETs keep showing up for me when I talk to them. Orb style. And then this one, oh, this was cool. This was before I went to bed, and I took a picture of the living room, and all these orbs came shooting down from the ceiling. And there's the ceiling fan right there, and they all kind of came shooting down, and then I guess showed up in that one little orb right there. And if you look closely, you can still see the eyes inside. So that one was kind of cool. I, a lot of these I didn't have on that last orb video. Okay, so that is my orb video number two, collage style. Thanks for listening.